Hello, this is a video for Beaver Thema users and in it I'm going to show you how easy it is just to add a copyright date that programmatically changes as the years tick over for your Beaver Thema footers. Now, the page you're looking at here is on my live demo site for Beaver Thema over at thema.beaverjunction.com and I'm on the footer example page over here and I've set this page up so it is showing the default footer for Thema. So if you create a new footer with Thema, it outputs this template. And of course, you can change anything you like with the page builder, but I've left it as it is and have just changed this second date here. So it programmatically changes as the years go on. I've also made a tweak to the copyright symbol, which I'll explain in a minute. But this is really easy to do. And I'll just show you on the top here. It's all here on the article. You just need this short code making snippet, which you'll need to add to your child themes functions PHP file. And then you'll be able to place this short code anywhere you like in your theme or in your page builder. Now, you would need to remove the asterisk there. That's just to stop it uh, turning this actually into the date. And I need to thank Phil Martin here. I don't know Phil, he's from Sydney in Australia, but he provided this snippet here to someone who was asking about this in the Beaver Builder Facebook group. And you can also grab the same code over at css-tricks.com, but it's got a different naming convention and I quite like Phil's using current year. So that's what I've used. So that covers that and I'll just show you here. I've taken a screenshot of me adding that to the layout for Thema. And as we can see here, this section is a text module and it's added there. And this is typically what I'll do is I'll put a start date and then to the current year just to give a site a bit of history. But what you'll see here is this is an earlier version and it's showing the copyright symbol. And this is created using a HTML character, which is here. But if you notice this, and I'm using the, I think, Merriweather font for this, you can see the copyright symbol is slightly raised. It's not kind of in line with this. So I've noticed this issue if you're using this HTML character. So what I've done to get over that is I've replaced it with one from Font Awesome. And it's, I can just show you it's over here. And you could just grab this and you could place this in instead. But there is a slight problem with doing that. Screen readers will be able to read this and know it's copyright before they see the date. With a font awesome icon, they will not know that. So what I've done to get it over this is that I've added in some text in the span here and I've set some inline CSS so it actually removes that text from, from view. So it, it shoves it off to the left and above so you don't see it. Now there is something I must point out. I'm making the assumption that your theme has the Font Awesome library attached to it. So if it doesn't, this is not gonna work for you, but it will if you're using the Beaver Builder theme, Generate Press or Dynamic Website Builder, if that's turned on in Dynamic Website Builder. And as you can see, there we are. It's kind of a little bit better lined up. And what I've, I've tested this a few times by changing the font and it still remains lined up so that's why I've taken this particular route and I can just quickly show you that in the back end so if we go over to, that's the one I created and there we are we can see I've just set it to this page and only to the footer example and if I just launch it we can take a look at how it's looking now now you can see here, you can't see the actual icon showing while we're in the visual mode. So you need to go over to text to see it. And you'll see that I actually have lined all of this up to center and we can see that it's been aligned center here. And there we are. There is my quite long snippet over here, adding the copyright text for screen readers, which you can't see if you're sighted. Anyway, I think that's all I need to share with you today. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, then please give me a like on YouTube. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.